What is up, fellas? We're bringing you guys another episode of FIFA 16 season mode. We're going to be taking on Norwich. We're playing as Chelsea in this episode. We're back from our international duties. And we're going to try and get a second straight win. The first time in quite a while with Chelsea in this episode. I'm hoping we can get it done. I'm tired of losing, dude. Let's go. Welcome to you all. Welcome along to Stamford Bridge. The scene for our game today, which we will describe for you. We being Alan Smith and me, Martin Tyler. And it's Chelsea today versus Norwich City. And he's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. What I like about him is his acceleration as much as just that outright pace. He, he can really leave somebody flat-footed when he's got a mind to it. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Tim Howard starts in goal. Happy Misson Gilabodji plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Eden Hazard starts. He was man of the match in his last game. In attack, Diego Costa starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. We've got three changes for Norwich City in this team. Stephen Whitaker starts with Martin Olsen as the fullbacks. Yusuf Malumbu plays alongside Johnny Housen in the middle of the park. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Yusuf Malumbu. Will that be a throw? Oscar. Azar. Eden Hazard. Cesc Fabregas. Cahill. And here's the shot. Into the challenge, he made the block. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. We found a way early to get it if not in the box really close and in scoring range so let's hope we can keep that throughout the game and I forget how we did that Brady he's gonna cross it and that'll be a goal kick Quetta. Cahill. Now Fabregas. Diego Costa. You ask players to work hard, and uh, it's a given, really, but this guy, they. Oh, he could be in. Goes for goal! Great save by a diving goalkeeper. No doubt that's a corner. Chooses to punch you, the goalkeeper. Good technique. Good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely to say the least. Cahill. Cesc Fabregas. Diego Costa. Cesc Fabregas. Chelsea on the attack. Falcao. Stephen Whitaker. It's 
got away from him. Okay, Hill. We can tell he knows the game. He had a sixth sense there to get to the right position and nick the ball. That's taken the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception. Diego Costa. A nice move to get away from the defender. By Chelsea standards, this is quite a slow start. Here's Fabregas. Hazard! Well, that's a good block. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. That's a turnover in play. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Oh. Very good intercepting play there to get his positional situation right and win the ball without too much effort. Russell Martin. Redmond. Basson. We can hear from Alan McAnally from the Hawthorns today. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by Darren Fletcher. A dribble well worth watching on the highlights before he dinked the ball over the keeper. 38 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Brady. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Diego Costa. Quick break off from here news from Alan McAnally about a penalty at the Liberty Stadium. It's a penalty for Swansea City. Up steps Bafatimbi Gomez. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Great penalty curling into the left-hand corner. 42 minutes played. 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Says Fabregas. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Well, just one minute of added time to come. Nathan Redmond. Yusuf Malumbu. Well, it is half time and we're tied at nil nil, which is, I think, probably the best thing that could have come out of that. Because we only had that one chance at scoring a goal, so. He's coming forward with some danger. And in goes the cross. There's a lot going on down at the Liberty Stadium, and Alan McAnally can tell us all about it. It's a second goal for Bournemouth. 50 minutes, please. 2-2. Two -two. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. Didn't quite have the impact I was expecting at the start, but time to remedy that. That's off. Stephen Whitaker. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. He's got the ball back. Well, the defender. Brady. Yusuf Malumbu. Redmond, Johnny House. 
At the Liberty Stadium, Alan McAnally has got some news for us. It's a third goal for Swansea City. 59 minutes played, 3-2. Thanks, Alan. Martin Olsen. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. EA Sports continues its coverage from the Barclays Premier League. The fixture, Chelsea, they'll be facing Spurs away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Cahill. Diego Costa. Well, that's very good positional play, and he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. Nathan Redmond. Pass off. Martin Olsen. Brady. Cahill. Saw that pass coming in midfield. Made the intervention. And now maybe he can push the team forward with his... Fabregas gives away a free kick here. Oh, my gosh. Redmond. Brady. Where's Houlihan? Kurt Zuma. And this is going to be a throw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're wasting no time with the throw here. Brady. Yusuf Malumbu safely behind for a goal kick proper fans here Alan they don't always get praised for what they do at their own expense of course and they're really making the atmosphere in the stadium and it's wonderful to hear because in the days of all-seater stadium there is a case to say that the atmosphere in many grounds has died a little bit but we're not experiencing that here great passage of passing play oh my gosh Norwich City's on, next game, Alan. Yeah, they're playing Arsenal in the next match in the Barclays Premier League and and uh, I don't hold out high hopes for them in this one. He's cut out that pass, it wasn't an accident, he read the mind of the opponent. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Well, this is clearly going to be the tactic until the final whistle, as long as it works, of course, defending. Well, it's not just two banks of four now, it's uh, one bank of six and four. They've got everybody behind now, and it's really hard for the opposition to find any space out there. Even Hazard. Cahill. Brilliant football from this team. Goes for goal! And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Oh, it's still goalless here, not much time left. What about their next game, Alan? Well, Chelsea go up against Spurs. They fought pretty hard, but haven't hit top gear, so I think they'd be fairly pleased if this finishes level. We can hear from Alan McAnally from the Hawthorns today. It's the second goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by Callum McManaman. A corner was played short. And he took the ball to the corner of the area before calling a great shot into the far corner. Five minutes remain. The shot's on. Good stop. Oh my gosh, dude. I went so pissed. Well, I'm sorry that I had to interrupt Alan McAnally earlier. I can confirm it was a West Brom goal that he was talking about. The score is now 2 1. Very good intercepting play there to get his positional situation right and win the ball without too much effort and shoots well that's a good block it's a corner right here fellas it's going to be our only chance to get a goal games ends at a a nil to nil tie. I guess the draw is probably the right result. I think so. Not much to choose between the two teams. Not really much action. We didn't have. We didn't have many. 
I think had he chances on goal, today, so. Maybe the result would have been I mean, can't really be upset with us only getting a tie and having it be 0 0 because we didn't do anything very special, and either did they. So we'll take the tie. It's better than a loss. We got a point, and we will see you guys in the next episode of FIFA 16.